Uh, hello, magandang araw. So, ito na ang pangatlong video natin sa video series natin sa application ng Python sa Structural Matrix Analysis. Sa makikita natin, nag-assign tayo ng node number sa ating frame, which is makikita nyo may 10 node. At after nun, wag assign din tayo ng pangalan sa bawat member at makikita nyo meron tayong 12 members. Then sa bawat node, mag assign tayo ng axis. So merong tatlo sa bawat isang axis. So makikita nyo, 1 and 2. Yan yung X and Y. Then yung 3, yung rotation at that point. Okay? So, susunod natin gagawin dyan, i-distribute natin. So, magiging 30 axis. Okay? X, Y, and rotation at that node. Then, after nun, i-mag-assign tayo ng mga uh, near node, far node. Then, after natin na-assign ng near node, far node is gagawa na natin ng code. Okay. So, para sa paggawa ng code, magde-declare tayo ng variable or object which is tatawagan nating frame which is equal sa frame na may parameter na AEI. Okay? So, pwede naman nating hindi lagyan yan or pwede rin naman nating lagyan mamaya. Okay? So, makita natin na yung I-beam or A-beam area ng beam ay uh, 100,000 okay? a square meter square millimeter then yung A column is 200,500 oops, wala dapat kama square millimeter then yung inertia ng beam natin ay 1.3 times 10 raised to 9 that is millimeter raised to the fourth then I column or inertia ng column natin ay 3.42 times 10 raised to 9. Okay, then yung modulus of elasticity natin ay 1. And then ang modulus elasticity natin ay 30,000 megapascals. Okay, then kapag na-declare na natin, yan yung mga constants. Okay. Constants natin yan. Then, tsaka natin magde-declare ng uh, members. Okay. So, yung mga step natin actually, declare tayo ng members, then create global matrix. After natin mag-create ng global, magre-reduce matrix tayo. Reduce global matrix. Kapag nakagawa na tayo ng reduce global matrix, augment matrix. Afternoon displacements and then afternoon ay uh, reactions. Ngayon, hindi ko din drawing sa picture pero yung mga reactions niyan or yung kanya mga support ay fully restrained. So declare members tayo. All right? So sa declare members natin, so meron tayong member 1. Member 1 will be uh, frame that member Okay. Yung area is equals to AB. Yung E is equals to E. Yung kanyang I which is equals to equals to beam to, no? Ay, column pala siya. So, dapat ito ay C. This would be IC. Then axis list, axis list is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, and 9. Then yung kanyang enter natin to. Then yung kanyang length list. ay equal sa kumanan siya ng 0 umangat siya ng 4,500 mm okay then member 2 so frame that member so yung area niya is uh, since yung area beam siya then yung elasticity is equals to E then yung i is equals to i beam beam sya beam 
Then access list is 789 10 11 12. Okay, 789 10 11 12. Then saka natin lalagay yung length niya. Okay? So yung length niya ay a uh, 3000 pa kanan. So 3000 daw was umangat siya nang hindi nang wala, hindi siya umangat. Okay? Then member 3. Ngayon, ang plano kong gawin, kail pa ulit-ulit lang naman 'to. So ulitin niyo lang yung process na 'yan. Then i siguro ita time lapse ko na lang, no? Check muna natin bago natin ituloy. So yung A, yung member 1 is C, column 1 2 3 7 8 9 4500 Member 2 is 7 8 9 10 11 12 then 3000 pa kanan. Yung member 3 is 4 5 6 10 11 12. Okay, then 4500 pataas. 
Then next level, so lagyan natin siguro ng floor. So this is the uh, ground floor. Uh, yung second floor natin. Then this would be the third floor. Then yung susunod is yung third floor. So AC. A, B, A, C. Okay. 7, 8, 9, 13, 14, 15. 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18. Then 10, 11, 12. 16, 17, 18. Then 4,000, 3,000, 4,000. Then to naman sa fourth floor. So fourth floor na tayo. So A, B. So dapat ito ay C. Ito ay C. Ito ay C. Ito ay C. Then yung fourth floor natin is 13, 14, 15, 16. 13, 14, 15, 19, 20, 21. Then angat siya ng 3,500. Yung sunod 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24. 3,000 pa kanan. Number 9 is 16, 17, 18. 22, 23, 24. Okay? Then last floor. So, fifth floor. So, this is supposed to be C, 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 and then C. So, siya yung angat ng 3, 3, 3. Then, 19, 20, 21, 25, 26, 27, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 22, 23, 28, 29, 30. So, napakaraming members. Ito na. Yan, kawa tayo ng list. Member. Okay. So, para may list tayo. So, member. Member 1. Member 2. Member 3. Member 4. Member. Gawin natin ganito. So, member 3. Member 4. Member 5, member 6 then member 7 member 8 member 9 then member 10 member 11 and lastly member 12 so in your member list natin okay then create global tayo so global underscore matrix is equals to frame dot create global okay create global so kailangan mo ng members okay then okay na yan next is uh, create tayo ng reduced matrix so reduced global is equals to create underscore reduced Okay, una, kailangan natin ng free axis. So, yung mga free axis nyan is uh, from from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from 7 to 30. Okay? So, gawa muna tayo ng list nun. Okay? So, free underscore axis is equals to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yung mga degrees of freedom to. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Kung may mas madali kayong suggestion. Siguro dapat wala, finor loop ko na lang. No? Ay, wala, natapos ko na. Okay? So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Okay, tama. So, gawin natin free underscore axis then yung global matrix. Then, okay na Then, frame dot create augment matrix. Okay. So, create an augment matrix. Then, kailangan natin ng reduce. It's underscore global. Then, para makagawa tayo ng displacement, applied loads. Okay, so yung applied load, kung ano yung corresponding dun sa degrees of freedom. Okay, 
So the rest will be zero. So ang magkakaro lang na application 17, 13, 19, and 25. So 7. So meron siyang applied na 250,000 newton. Then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so 13. Meron tayong 500,000. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then 19. Meron tayong 750,000. Okay. So that is 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 25, meron tayong uh, 1 million newton. Then... 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 and yung applied natin so displacements I equal sa def values applied okay then print natin yung displacements Then, last is yung ating reactions. Okay? So, frame that react values. Okay? Ganyan siya. Okay, then, run natin. Yun. Yan yung ating mga values natin. No? So, sa may kita natin, uh, dahil malalaki yung forces natin, so, kaya ganyan kalalaki yung ating mga reactions. Okay? Then, yung mga corresponding displacement, so, makikita natin dyan. Okay? So, kapag niran nyo, kung ano yung corresponding na degrees of freedom, dahil ang degrees of freedom natin is 7, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on, then yung reaction natin will be correspondingly. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, parang ganun. Okay? So, pag pinag-plus-plus natin yan, yung reaction, yung x coordinate natin. So, I think equal yan sa equal siya sa 2,500 which is kamukha lang rin nung uh, magbabalance out naman yan. Okay? So, you may check the code. So, all in all, ganyan lang siya. So, ganyan lang din kadali mag-analyze ng frames gamit nung ginawa kong library. So, ang pinaka-tedious lang na gagawin natin dito is yung mag-declare ng mga members Marami lang sila. Pero kapag nakagawa na tayo ng global matrix, then reduce global matrix, and then gawa ng augmented matrix, then displacements, and then reactions. So, importante ito. Makukuha na agad natin yan. Okay? So, yung result will be shown sa screen natin. No? So, pwede nyo ma-check gamit ng inyong sariling code. No? Kapag ginayin nyo itong ating video. So, yun. Mas maganda siguro practicing nyo. No? Salamat.